Finally outside is our snow leopard mum and two new cubs. That's Zoya and then Minu. We are so excited. This is the day that we've been like looking forward to for so long. And yeah, when we let them out, the girls have had a great time so far. And mum is, mum is a little bit more relaxed now that she knows she can keep track of them. It's been months to try to see these guys. Why is that? So these guys are very susceptible to a lot of different diseases. So they had to have all of their vaccines and it had to be two weeks after their last set of vaccines to have full immunity. We can see mom doing some grooming there, which is so sweet. How has that relationship been? Uh, they, mom has been an excellent mom. Gita is a first time mom and health wise, they've been doing pretty well. Um, now, Zoya actually had some problems. Um, she was actually army crawling when she first started walking. So we actually had to do uh, several weeks of physiotherapy with her. And right now you can't even tell that she actually had an issue with her legs. So once she started climbing and jumping, we had a big hay bale for her um, to climb and dig her claws into. We had little different toys that we had to do different exercises with. And her sister has been a great playmate. So she got to run and wrestle with her. And we're staying way back again because they are susceptible. Yeah, so they're susceptible. Um, COVID is still a big thing. Um, so we have to maintain either a six foot distance or we have to have our N95 masks on. How will people be able to uh, see them here now? So as of tomorrow, they will be able to, general public will be able to see them. Dad, Pemba, will be on exhibit Monday, Wednesday, Fridays. And then the girls, uh, all three girls will be out Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday. So if you do plan to come out to see the baby snow leopard cubs this weekend, they will be out in their enclosure between 10 and 2 o'clock. At the Toronto Zoo, Audra Brown, City News.